what's good y'all this is shino4757 giving y'all another review on this nice lg steam and um i was just going to put this review up to tell y'all my phone instead of running at one gig gigahertz of processor speed i got my phone rooted and it is running at 1.7 gigahertz right now so as for the phone like freezing up and stuff it has no lag nothing you know I can swipe through it and you know it doesn't freeze up do none of that you know phone runs real really really fast at 1.7 gigahertz it's basically overclocked one thing about it um it kill the life performance on your phone because you work in the processor way too heavily and um that can really you know kill the phone it won't necessarily kill it it really drain your battery a lot and stuff so just keep that in mind now y'all probably ask how do you do such a thing how do we know your phone is running at 1.7 gigahertz well i'm going to show you guys i have an app on here called set pc i think that's what it's called set pc and you can change the pc settings of your phone but just because you download this app does not mean that you can just do it right away now as you can see it's set at the max of 1.7 as you can see now your current is um going to be this is your current that's your current processor speed right there that's one gigahertz processor speed so i'm just gonna move it all the way up and as you can see i got it set on boot now when you root your phone or whatever that's basically the only way you can do it um first what you're gonna do is to root your phone you're gonna go to make a new tab here what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to androidforms.com okay um if you can't see, I'm sorry about the camera quality. I know it probably sucks. Go to AndroidForms.com. You're going to scroll down to the um, Android phone selection. You're going to see something that says LG Esteem. So, as you can see, it's right there. Just going to go to LG Esteem. Okay. This is all the stuff about the LG Esteem. Everything you need to know. There's a lot of forms on here. People you know posting their issues any problems they're having this is the place to come um here you here we are now right here at the top we're just going to go to esteem all root things and this is where all the stuff happens where you can root your phone and everything this is where you need to come now what you're going to do is you're going to go to cwm root and recovery right here now all these are the files that you need what you're going to do is and they tell you about the risks and everything you're going to scroll right here these are the two download zip files i already got the files downloaded so what you're going to do is you're going to click on it it's going to download as you can see it's downloading and after it's finished downloading what you're going to do is you're going to unzip the file. Once you unzip the file, you're going to go to your desktop, right? Now, I got the file right here. These are the files. What you're going to do is, you're going to click on... Where are we? Here it is. CWM Windows install. You're going to click here. Make sure your phone is on debugging mode, which is set to internet connection mode. You're going to connect your phone up to it. Once you connect your phone up to it, you run this program. You're going to see a little program right here. It's going to tell you all the stuff and everything. It's going to say, press any key to root your phone. You're going to press the key. Your phone going to be rooted. Your, your device is going to restart. Once it restarts, your phone is now rooted. So after that, what you're going to do is, after that is rooted, you're going to go back to the Android forms. Okay, let me just get rid of this tab right here. You're going to go back to the Android forms. Now, now this time I'm showing you how to install a ROM. Basically, this is something how I get my 
phone to run at 1.7 gigahertz. You're gonna go here to um, pledge overclocking for LG Steam. You're gonna go here, gonna click that, okay? Now once you click this, you're gonna go here, you're gonna see something say pledge kernel right here. You're gonna download this. Now, it's gonna come in the, in the zip file. Once you download that, you're gonna download it and um, you're gonna keep everything in the zip file. You do not have to open the zip file. You're gonna take this file and put it in the Rudy SD card of your phone. Once you do that, you're gonna take your phone. It's a little trick to this. So what I'm gonna do is cut my phone off so I can show y'all. Because when y'all root at y'all phone, y'all basically put the um, the recovery mod on there. That's basically what you just did, okay? So my phone is now powering off, as you can see. Okay. I still got my extended battery. It's been running good. I recommend if you're going to set your um, PC settings, your um, CPU settings, to the max now another note is all phones does not run at 1.7 because just because I got my phone running at 1.7 does not mean all phones can do this so my phone is running at 1.7 but if you do set it at 1.7 and you do get like restarting issues and stuff what you would have to do is set it at 1.5 that's the max now what you're gonna do is it's a little trick to this it, it kind of like I really couldn't do this shit for some reason, but I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna power up the phone. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the volume key buttons, both of them. I'm just gonna see if it's gonna go to recovery mode. It might not. It might will. Who knows? There it is. Okay, it did it. Now it's gonna tell you permanently erase used data and reset settings. Now this is not true. This is just you know something. That's part of the program. So you don't have to worry. You don't have to panic. It's not going to erase everything. You're going to press the power button three times. It's going to say, are you sure you want to erase? Click it again. And it's going to say confirm. You press the power button again. You're going to see the LG. So let's see here. There he is. That's the clockwork mod. That's what you just installed on your phone and rooted on your phone. What you're going to do is, if you can see on here, you probably can't. You're going to go to install zip from SD card. You're going to press the power button. You're going to choose the zip from your SD card, which is right here. You're going to scroll down until you see the file that's on the root of your SD card, which is, I think it's pledge kernel. You're going to install it. You go to yes install. Once it installs, it installs on your phone. And you're going to reboot your phone. Okay, sorry about the delay. I um, kind of fast forwarded it a little bit so the phone can boot up. Now the phone is all booted up. We're going to go to the program I was just telling y'all about called Set PCU. Make sure you download that at the Android Market. It's free. You don't have to pay for it. And then you go here. Your phone is going to be at 1, 1 gigahertz. So you're going to set it all the way up to the max. Um, you don't have to change the minimum settings. You can keep it right there. Um, I kept it at the minimum settings. You can change it if you want. If you want to super super overclock it but it works fine for me just like that um other than that that's how the phone works and it's been running very very smooth uh it actually make my web browser go faster um videos load up faster you know the phone runs really really good um if it's, you got any questions or anything you want me to run on here or you know any anything to do while this process of speed is so high let me know and i'll do it in my next video you know okay now let's get on some other news some metro pcs news now <coughs> metro is coming out with another 4g handset as you can see it's called the um the samsung conquer i think that's what it's called conquer yeah that's what it's called conquer um 
anyway the specs on it is pretty nice the screen is very smaller from the um, LG Esteem um, this is a Samsung phone Samsung phones are really really pretty good I probably would prefer a Samsung over LG any day um, but I don't think I would be getting this handset just because of the fact that it doesn't meet the set requirements that this phone has that I have right now so I won't be getting this phone but I will be still you know giving y'all updates and shit that it does and everything um basically the phone got a 3.5 inch display um 3.2 megapixel camera and uh 1.3 megapixel camera on the front that's pretty good running 2.3 gingerbread and um basically this phone might cost where there has not really been no confirmed price of this phone yet but it might be at least 199 dollars which that's what we're hoping for you know it to be you know that lets everybody you know on the metro 4g network and um and just some other stuff here i want to talk to you guys about um about all these other companies you know and i just been looking at the you know the way metro been working and the, the company is still growing like crazy like far as subscribers far as newcomers everybody converting over to the 4g network it's pretty good you know so i mean a lot of companies big companies are losing money and while metro is still gaining because of their 4g handsets and how much they cost and for all the haters metro is doing really really good as a company you know we got people out there oh metro this metro that yeah 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 why you still on the contract getting played but <laughs> i'm not gonna say nothing because that's what y'all want to do anyway be looking to that phone i don't know the release date on it um i don't know when it comes out but they're going to be having way more handsets than just the one i just showed you they're actually coming out with cheaper handsets which is like sometime around 212 of course it's going to be some 100 dollar handsets so i don't know if they're going to be android powered i don't know if they're just going to be regular not smartphones but i think every phone that they come out with now every phone has to be a smartphone because <laughs> people that's what people want these days and smartphones are very very popular these days so yeah but anyway i just want to update y'all on that and stuff and you know show y'all how to root your phone and stuff but besides that this is shino 4757 giving y'all another re review on this nice lg steam you got any questions leave a comment below let me know you know i will answer it the best way i can if i can't then you know i will give you a source on where to go to you know look up information about this phone but i try my best subscribe to my new channel please subscribe to my new channel i got a new channel i'm working on i want y'all to subscribe to it i will be having more videos over there real soon and that's about it i'm out peace